Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about a motivated seller script, what exactly to say to these sellers to increase your chances of getting that house under contract, which will naturally increase your close rate, which makes you more money. So the outcome will be you're going to make more money by getting more houses under contract if you say what I teach you to say because I've run my business direct to seller for the entirety of my business, right? I have a tough market here in Dallas. This is a market where we can't just go onto the MLS and make mass offers. We can't just go to the HUD home store. In our six biggest counties at any given time, we may have 10 houses, 15 houses on the HUD home store with thousands of people making offers on. So this option doesn't exist for me. Right? So I built my business around talking to motivated sellers, getting in there and actually getting the contract one-on-one, -on -one, right? So a lot has to do with what you say. So I'm gonna go through and tell you right now, one of the things I say to increase my chances of getting the house under contract. So <clears throat> homeowners and people in general wanna do business with people they know, like, and trust. Unless it's a referral, these homeowners can't possibly know you, right? So they're only gonna do business with you if they like you and trust you. So how are you gonna build up that trust and how are you gonna build up that credibility? So when we work with these homeowners, what we do is we go in and we understand ahead of time that their biggest fear is what happens if we don't close, right? Because if we don't close, they have more carrying costs, they have to pay their mortgage, water, electric, et cetera, right? So they wanna make sure that we close, especially if they're in a situation where they're headed into foreclosure. Because what if they have $50,000 in equity and we don't close? we destroy their life. So what we do is when we talk to these motivated sellers to distinguish ourselves from other companies, we explain to them that Mr. and Mrs. Seller, we aren't like all these other companies out there. When we make an offer, we stand by our offer, the exact offer we give you, and we close every single time. And just to show you that we do what we say we do, I wanna give you the contact information for my title company. I want you to go ahead and call down there and confirm with them that we are who we are, or we are who we say we are, and that every single time we contract a property, we close on it, and that we never, ever come back at the, t at the closing table and basically try to renegotiate and knock you down. Because this is a fear they have. They go out online, they research wholesalers or investors, and what they find is there's a bunch of shady people out there who go in intentionally locking a house up on, under contract with the full intention of coming back later and knocking that person down. So let's touch on this a little bit while we're on it, guys, because this is not a strategy. This is what scumbags do, right? You do not go out there and offer a homeowner, say $100,000, when you have absolutely no intention on honoring this $100,000, right? You need to make sure that you're, you're running your business with integrity. You have to have an ethical nature by how you run your business, because if you're going out there making an offer at 100, because you know everybody else is offering 97, 98, 96, but you have full intention later, right before that option period comes down or, or runs out and right before the closing period or right before they go into pre-foreclosure to come back and knock them down to 90 or 85. This is not a strategy. I know some people are, are teaching this out there, but this is what people who have no integrity do. It's dishonest. Um, it's unfortunate that a lot of people are doing this in the business right now. People that go through our program, um, some of our students, we never teach you to do this. I think this is one of the most dishonest, dishonest things you can be doing. It's a shame that you're doing this. If you're doing this, I urge you to stop. Would you want someone to do this to you? So think about that before you make an offer. If you go offer someone an offer, stand by that offer, right? Don't have the intention on coming back and knocking them down later. That is not ethical, right? You wouldn't want that to happen to you your mother, your father, anybody in your family, your friends. So why are you doing it, right? Are you this greedy that you have to play the game, um, basically you know, cutting corners and, and tricking people into working with you, right? So what we do is we explain because there's so many of these unethical companies out there doing this, we're not gonna do this, right? So while you're trying to knock an extra three to four or $5,000 down each deal, we're picking up 20, $30,000 flips left and right because we let these individuals, these homeowners, call our title company, confirm that we close lots of properties, and we never, ever knock people down right before the closing date, right? And this is what makes them comfortable, builds up credibility, makes them you know, basically understand that, hey, I'm in good hands here, I don't have to worry about this going into closing, I basically am gonna get what they're gonna tell me I'm gonna get, and it helps us get more contracts. So we're picking up more deals where we're making bigger profits instead of trying to fight for crumbs, which is what everybody else is doing, trying to knock people down at the closing table. So guys, I hope that helps. Think about what you're doing out there. Kind of think about what type of business you want to run. And if you want to get more deals, do what I said. Talk to, these, talk to these sellers. Explain to them that they can talk to your title company. They'll tell them you close 
You're not going to knock them down. This is going to build trust and credibility, and they're going to work with you every time. Guys, I hope that helps. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.